Is it possible to get Matrix Platinum 4090 levels of performance at significantly lower costs? In this video, we are going to find out. My name is Matt and welcome back to Blackbird PC Tech and our next video in our Ultimate PC Component Fighting Championship series. Our Ultimate PC Component Fighting Championship series is focused on helping you make the tough choices when building your dream PC. Choices like, should I buy CPU X or CPU Y? Should I buy GPU X or GPU Y? Should I use an air cooler or AIO? These are all profound life-changing questions that we take very seriously here at Blackbird PC Tech. In this series, we are going to help you make the right choice by pitting two components against each other in the PC Octagon to see who wins. In this video, our focus will be on water-cooled RTX 4090 GPUs with the ASUS Tough Gaming GeForce RTX 4090 with Alpha Cool Eyeswolf 2 AIO in the red corner, taking on the ASUS ROG Matrix Platinum GeForce RTX 4090 in the blue corner. Before the battle gets started, I wanted to talk a little about ultra expensive PC products. These are products that are the most expensive options in their category. Components like the MSI Meg Godlike motherboard, the Corsair AX1600i power supply, G-Skill DDR5 8600 memory, Gen 5 4 terabyte SSDs, the EVGA E1 carbon fiber chassis. These are just to name a few. At any point in time, there will always be components at the ultra high end of the price spectrum that you can buy. But the question is, should you? If you have the money, should you buy one of these ultra expensive items? The honest answer is that none of these components are actually worth their price tag. You can get all of the real world performance and features that they offer for much less. However, these components will all typically sell out, especially when they are first released and are in limited supply. So why are we buying these products? One reason, and perhaps the most obvious, is the desire for social status, recognition, and significance. This is something that drives our spending behaviors in many areas, not just PCs. Another is the thought that expensive equals quality, and that by definition, the most expensive item has to be the best. This is not always true and can lead to overspending on items that are simply not worth the extra cost. These type of behaviors are often fueled by advertising and marketing. Companies that sell luxury goods often use advertising and branding to create a sense of exclusivity and prestige around their products. This is exactly what happens with PC tech. ASUS, MSI, Gigabyte, AMD, Intel, Nvidia, Corsair, all hype their products to generate sales. Unfortunately, I've fallen for the hype way too many times to count, but more about that later. Which brings me to expensive GPUs. When I think of expensive high-end GPUs, I think of EVGA with their Kingpin cards, Galax with their Hall of Fame cards, MSI with their Lightning cards, and ASUS with their Strix cards. All of these products are purposely over-designed and come with a high price tag. For the 4090, the Asus Strix has an MSRP of $1,999 US dollars, which is a premium of about $400 over the Nvidia's Founders Edition at $1,599. The RTX 4090 is an extremely expensive card, so when Asus upped the price significantly with the Strix for a relatively minor performance difference, logic would say it should be a tough sell. But when the 4090 launched, I tried buying one at Micro Center on day one, and they were the first card to sell out. Absolutely crazy. Galax then came out with a $600 60 watt Hall of Fame Edition Monster for $2,579 claiming that it was the fastest 4090 on the planet and backing it up with some benchmark world records. Not to be outdone and seeing an opportunity with EVGA leaving the GPU market, Asus came along with the Matrix Platinum priced at a whopping $3,200 US dollars. That is double the MSRP of the base Nvidia Founders Edition card and it's currently selling for much, much more, even by vendors like Newegg who are cashing in on the 4090 shortage. Asus marketing hype claims pinnacle levels of performance, but what does that actually mean and is it possible to achieve this level of performance at a much lower cost? Let's find out. The battle today is between two water-cooled 4090 GPUs with the Asus Tough Gaming GeForce 4090 with Alpha Cool Eyeswolf 2 AIO in the red corner, taking on the Asus Matrix Platinum RTX 4090 
in the blue corner. The test system being used to run the benchmarks is my Intel-based open bench table with the following components. For the CPU, we have an Intel Core i7-14700K. For the motherboard, we have an Asus ROG Maximus Z690 Extreme. For RAM, we have 64 gig of Corsair Dominator Platinum DDR5 6200 at CL32. For storage, we have two two terabyte Samsung 980 Pro NVMe SSDs. For the CPU cooler, we have an Asus ROG Ryzen 2 360 millimeter AIO. And for the PSU, we have an EVGA Supernova 1200P2 1200 watt Platinum PSU. Affiliate links for all of these components are listed in the description below. All testing was performed at two primary conditions for each GPU. One at baseline clock speeds, together with one at max stable overclock speeds. For the overclocks, I modified GPU boost clock and memory clock in GPU Tweak 3, since both cards are from Asus. The max stable overclock was established by running Heaven to get initial boost of memory clock estimates. I then ran superposition to check the stability of the memory overclock, which was followed by multiple runs of 3D Mark Speedway, Port Royal and Time Spy Extreme to tweak the settings further. Once the overclock GPU passed all of those tests, I stress tested it for an hour with Firmark. If it passed, then I moved forward with the benchmark testing. The baseline and overclock GPU booster memory clock speeds are displayed in this table. Given that these are GPUs, I also limited testing to a resolution of 4K only, since that will place the highest load on each GPU. With the GPUs ready to go, let's check the benchmarks. But before we do, I think it's only appropriate to introduce this the right way. Over to you, Bruce. And now, it's time! Introducing the components fighting for Blackbird PC Tech Benchmark Supremacy. In the blue corner, we have the champion. In the red corner, we have the challenger. Who will win this battle royale? Stay tuned to find out. Remember how I mentioned that I had fallen for the marketing hype way too many times to count? Well, there is one recent time that still stings. During the pandemic GPU shortage, we had all gotten accustomed to seeing scalper GPU prices way above MSRP. But when Nvidia released the 3090 Ti for $1,999, a $500 premium over the 3090, that gave some people pause. This wasn't a scalper, it was Nvidia. I, along with many others, started to think that this was becoming the new norm. And when Jay from Jay's Two Cents came out with his infamous video, don't wait, buy your graphics card today. Claiming that he had on good authority that the 4000 series wouldn't be released anytime soon and that the 3090 Ti prices were not going to come down, I decided to buy one. What an incredible waste of money that was. Prices of the 3090 Ti rapidly plummeted. Jay tried backpedaling and apologizing, but the damage was done. I was stuck with a card that was selling for way less than what I paid for it only a few weeks earlier. So what can we do about it? Best way to combat marketing hype is to test the products and see if they live up to the claims. The difficult part, of course, is being patient enough to wait for the results. That's why I purchased an ROG Matrix Platinum for this video. I want to test the marketing claims made by Asus and share the results with you to help make sure that you don't make the same mistake that I made. In this video, we pitted two heavyweight Asus 4090s against each other in the PC Octagon to see who will emerge victorious. With the tough gaming, RT 
RTX 4090 with AlphaCool Eyesworth 2 AIO in the red corner, taking on the ROG Matrix Platinum RTX 4090 in the blue corner. As you can see from the round by round results, it was an easy win for Team Blue, with an almost unanimous decision for the Matrix. In fact, for the two games that resulted in draws, the game was CPU bound, such that GPU performance had no meaningful impact on the results. Although this was a win for the Matrix Platinum, does it actually make sense when you bring cost into the equation? At a 54% higher cost, I would say absolutely not. Spending over $1,000 more on a GPU that can achieve an increase of only 2% on average more in games just doesn't make any sense. It sounds great to have the best, but unless you really love the aesthetics and it really is a beautiful card, the boost in FPS just isn't meaningful. Aces was technically correct when they marketed this card as achieving pinnacle levels of performance, but launching it at double the Founders Edition MSRP is crazy. It's worth noting that at the time of filming this video, the Matrix Platinum is sold out everywhere, with eBay scalpers selling it for well over $4,000. So it may be crazy, but clearly the marketing works. So if you're in the market for an RTX 4090, my recommendation is to ignore these higher end gimmicks and save some money by purchasing the Founders Edition or any base model 4090. You can try overclocking it and achieve virtually all of the performance that these ultra high end models achieve for significantly less and your wallet will definitely thank you. Remember, it's not rocket science, it's Lego. My goal is to help you make the right component choices and put them together the right way every single time. Thank you for watching this video in the Ultimate PC Component Fighting Championship Battle Series. If you enjoyed today's video, please hit that like button and subscribe so that you don't miss out on future episodes as other components battle it out in the PC Octagon. Please also comment and offer suggestions on any any future components that you would like to see go head to head. Bye for now.